Hi children, welcome back to our EVS class. So today we are going to see a new chapter in social. That is your first chapter. And what is the name of the chapter? Agriculture and Livestock. What is the name of the chapter? Agriculture and Livestock. Okay, so what is agriculture? Growing crops. Okay, and what is livestock? Rearing of animals. Okay. So about this we are going to learn in detail in this lesson. So shall we start? Okay. So now see here. India is mainly an dash country. What country? Agricultural country. Okay. So India is an agricultural country. So the main occupation of two third of Indian people is agriculture. And it is a main source of income for people in the villages okay so what does agriculture give us yes agriculture give us food and it also provide raw materials what are the raw material for textile sugar oil and jute for many industries is it clear so agriculture is the main occupation two-third of the population is in agriculture it is the main source of income for village and it gives us food and raw materials for industries. Okay. Now, for agriculture, you need few basic requirements. Okay. What are the basic requirements for farming? What are the requirements? First one is suitable temperature. Okay. So, you need a suitable temperature, water supply. Okay. For growing plants, you need water. Then, Good quality seeds. What do you need? Good quality seeds. Next is manure. Manure is the fertilizer. What you give to the plant. And labor. Labor is the working people. Okay. So these are the five main requirements for farming. Okay. So what are the two main seasons? Summer and winter are the two main agricultural seasons in India. Okay. So, the summer season is called Karif and winter season is called Rabi. Okay, what is summer called? Summer is otherwise called Karif. K-H-A-R-I-F. Karif and winter is called Rabi. R-A-B-I. -A. Okay. So, now we are going to learn about the important food crops. Okay. So, in this map you can see the major areas. Okay. Where rice is grown. Okay. Now we are going to see about the important food crops. Okay. So the major food crops. Which are the major food crops? Rice, wheat, millet, pulses and maize. Repeat with me children. Which are the major food crops? Yes. First one is rice, wheat, millet, pulses and maize. Okay. Out of this rice and wheat are our staple food crops that is we consume it in a large quantity which are the two food rice isn't it we have rice in the morning as well as in the sorry we have rice in the afternoon as well as in the night okay now rice grows well in places where good amount of water is available so for growing rice you need good amount of water and the climate should be hot okay so, which are the main states where rice is grown? Punjab, Haryana, West Bengal, Assam, Jharkhand, Bihar, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Okay. So, this is about your rice. Now, coming to your wheat. What is the climate for wheat? It requires moderate water and cooler condition. Okay. It requires only little water. And cool condition should be there. Next, it is a winter crop. So, wheat is a winter crop. Okay. So, what is the name you call for winter season crops? Yes, they are called rabi crops. So, wheat is an example for rabi crop. Okay. So, which are the areas? Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Now, the next one is called millets. Okay. So, millets are known as dry crops. What are millets called? Dry 
crops. Okay. So they are grown in areas of Rajasthan, Bihar, Gujarat and Karnataka. Okay. Which are the places? Rajasthan, Bihar, Gujarat and Karnataka. Where low rainfall is received. That is why you call it as a dry crop. What are the examples for millet? Jowar, Bajra and Ragi. Which are the examples? Jowar, Bajra, Ragi. Okay. The next type is called pulses. Okay. So pulses are very rich in protein. So pulses are rich in protein. They are also used as fodder for cattle. Okay. Fodder is the food for cattle. Hence they are grown on a large scale. Okay. So what are the examples of pulses? Bengal gram, green gram, black gram. Is it clear? Okay. Next, we shall see about important cash crops. Okay. So, farmers grow some crops only for sale in the market. Okay. So, cash crops are the crops grown for sale in the market. Okay. So, that is why they are called cash crops. Cash, money. When you sale, you get money. Okay. So, what are the examples of cash crop? Oil seeds, cotton, jute, Sugarcane, spices, tobacco, tea and coffee. Okay. Once again, which are the cash crops? Oil seeds, cotton, jute, sugarcane, spices, tobacco, tea and coffee. Now, we shall see about the oil seeds. So, which are the oil seeds? Groundnut. Okay. From where we obtain oil. Okay, we use oil for cooking, isn't it? So, which are the products or the crops that give you oil are called your oil seeds. So, examples are groundnut, sesam, mustard, castor seed, dry coconut or copra. Okay, what is dry coconut called? Copra, sunflower and linseed. Okay, so they are grown in different parts of our country. The oil that is used for cooking comes from oil seed. Okay. So it is also called vegetable oil. The oil that we use for cooking is otherwise called vegetable oil. Okay. Now we are going to see about fiber crops. Okay. What is the next one? Fiber crops. So fiber crops are jute and cotton which gives us fiber. Okay. Example is jute and cotton. So, what is jute used for? It is used to make bags, carpets and many other things. Okay. Now, it is mainly produced in West Bengal, Assam, Bihar and Odisha. Now, coming to cotton. Cotton is another fiber crop. So, it is mainly grown in Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Clear? The next one is called spices. You know what is spices? Examples of spices are pepper, chilies, clove, cardamom, fenugreek, cumin seeds, nutmeg and cinnamon. Okay. They all add flavor. Isn't it? So they have medicinal value and are used to add flavor to food. When you add spices, it gives you a good smell. Isn't it? They are grown in Kerala and Karnataka. Okay. Another one is called tea. Which is your beverage crop. Evening or in the morning you need a tea or coffee. Right. So tea is grown in Assam, West Bengal and Nilgiris Hills. Okay. Our place. Now coffee is grown in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Okay. So tea and coffee are called your beverage crop. Okay, so with this we shall complete today's class. Read the chapter carefully. Underline the difficult words and learn children. Thank you. Take care. Be safe and be happy.